Tonight, we're getting a first look at a new study that converts, say, two major roadways in O'Loyville from one-way to two-way streets, and it comes with a hefty price tag. Now, city officials are cautioning that sticker shock will likely show up on more projects in the future. WLKY's Drew Gardner is live in O'Loyville with a look at what's driving up those costs. Drew? Well, Vicki, it's not exactly the roads themselves, but rather the traffic signals. We're talking about the ones that turn from red to green to yellow. And it's those all along this route of 2nd and 3rd Street. The city says they just have not done a good enough job of updating uh, these lights. And the price to fix them is really through the roof. Over the last decade, one-way streets across the Louisville Metro have been slowly disappearing. So we're going to be looking at converting almost every street that's one way today. Today is going to be converted to two-way, hopefully, and make a safer street and a calmer street and make it a more complete street. Now the focus has shifted to Old Louisville. For the last several months, the same group that converted 1st Street to two-way traffic is now looking at 2nd and 3rd Streets. The corridor being studied stretches from Broadway to Cardinal Boulevard. The study took a close look at traffic value and crash data. It's not our goal to eliminate congestion. We're not trying to do that whatsoever, but to make sure that this two-way conversion can happen, it can happen safely, and it can still accommodate uh, you know, demand for all modes of travel. While some one-way streets can be converted with almost the flip of a switch, the study found that's not the case with these two. A lot of the signal infrastructure in this core, both these quarters is extremely aged and it simply would not meet current design standards if we tried to just flip the switch. The price tag to replace them isn't cheap either. The cost just for signals on this project is $3.5 million. And we'll spend 100 to 150,000 each of these intersections rebuilding those traffic signals, but it's, it's necessary. Making room for bicyclists and parking is also important. It drew the most questions during the study's presentation to the Old Louisville Neighborhood Association. Those decisions are still being worked out along with where turn lanes will be added. And the public will get multiple chances to weigh in as they move into the design phase. Too many people are dying on our roadways today. And we're trying to join Vision Zero, which is trying to get it down to where nobody dies on the roadway, even if they make a mistake. Now, the total cost, estimated cost, at least at this project right now, is about $7 million. So they do plan to seek federal funding, which makes putting an exact timeline on this project very difficult. Reporting live in Old Louisville tonight, Drew Gardner, WLKY News. Thank you, Drew.